I'm big, but yeah, like I'm one fine day. He had a lot of money from the USA. Uh, all from the death of his uncle, Joe. He got a million and a half or so. And so then the, the, the song goes on that he gave a ball for all the relatives. And here come the two Miss Flynn's on their horses. And, you know, the first song we learned as a kid. And of course, at our reunions, we have to, our five always have to sing that song. It's Maureen Edwards now. And I uh, was born in St. Ignatius in 1947. The Flynn men, they're charming and the women run the show. My mother came in here in about 1960. She was um, a saver and uh, her brothers had gone through the house and they had a great big pile of stuff to burn out in the front yard. And as she said, she came shrieking into the yard and swatting them and saved my Uncle Jimmy's World War I uniform and some of the other things that they had decided weren't really worth it. So thank God for mom. And she was the caretaker. She saved everything. <laughs> Aunt Nellie was, you know, pretty traditional. Every time Grandma wanted something, she had to go through Aunt Nellie to get it. Her whole life. Aunt Nellie is the warm one, and not the warm one, but she's the one that all of that generation remember because she lived the longest. Mm. And so my mother always said, oh, she was just wonderful, wonderful. And at that litany, at the end of the litany, I said, you know, Mom always said that uh, the Flynn's, some of them were rascals and some were great, but after they died, they were all saints, you know. So that's all I ever heard about Aunt Nellie was that she was a saint. In a lot of ways, Ireland now is like the childhood we remembered.